We have made our option sets, options, data elements, and data element groups. These are all critical to making our program work and managing it over time. Let's go ahead and create the program. From the Maintenance app, click on the Program tab. You can then click on Program in the Program box. This takes you to the list of programs that have already been configured in the system. To add a new program, click on the plus icon at the bottom right hand corner of the program management screen and choose Event Program. After you select this plus icon, you will see both Tracker Program and Event Program options appear. We will only be working with event programs in this course. After I select Event Program, we will be taken to the Event Program editing screen. You can see a timeline of steps at the top, which allows us to edit our program following these steps. First, you have Add Program Details, then Assign Data Elements, next you see Create Data Entry Form, then Access, and lastly, Create Notifications. These tabs are ordered this way as it is a logical process of creating an event program. We will work through each tab in order as we create our program. We will start with the program details. Similar to managing data elements, there are many fields that are available in the program details tab. We will be covering a couple of them as we create the program. You can consult the documentation using the link provided in the activities section for more detail on each field that is available here. The name and short name are required as indicated by the star icon within their fields. For both the name and the short name, we will use our username as a prefix. We can just copy our name to our short name. Some additional fields that are optional but often important are the code and description fields. For the code, we will just reuse our short name and name. For the description, enter a description of the program. I am just going to quickly copy a description into the description field. When I scroll down, I will see additional fields within this section. There is another field that I would also like to discuss called the feature type. If we review our register, we will see that we have fields for location. This is just an example to be as explicit as possible as you would normally not be entering latitude or longitude on a paper register necessarily. This may represent home village for practical purposes in a live example. In this program, we do want the coordinates, however, so we can define this feature type by selecting it from the Feature Type drop-down menu. There are two feature types that we can select, Point or Polygon. As we are interested in capturing individual locations, we can select Point as our feature type for this program. This will allow us to collect the coordinates of the case at the time of data entry. With this initial information entered, we can scroll down and save our program. This doesn't mean we have completed the creation of our program, just that we have saved the initial program details. For those of you following along with the activities, please proceed to follow the activity instructions to create the program and save the program details.